In this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect to one of our IP cameras using the P2P or Dummies Guide for remote connection. So first I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. I'm just doing this by hitting the Windows button on my keyboard or clicking the Windows icon down at the bottom left hand side of my screen. I'm going to type in Internet Explorer and I can also get there by just typing IE. That will also bring up the Internet Explorer app. So I'm going to click the Internet Explorer app. It's going to pull up an Internet Explorer to my homepage, msn.com here. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in the IP address that's on the label on my IP camera, on the box for my IP camera. So this one is just our standard factory default. It's 192.168.1.109. Again, this IP address is found on the label for the camera box, as well as the username and password. So again, I'm getting the username and password off of my box. The username is admin, and the password is our factory default. And then I'm going to click the login button. And now I've logged into my IP camera. If I wanted to see the video stream from my IP camera, I would click and download and install the plugin. However, I don't need to do that for this particular guide. So I'm going to come up here to the top right hand side and click the setting button. It's going to take me to my camera settings. And in order to access the P2P method or dummies guide, I'm going to click the network button here. And down at the bottom, we can see access platform. Now, access platform on your camera may say P2P or easy for IP. However, it is found under the network portion. And again, this guide assumes that you are on the same network as your camera and your cell phone is going to be on the same network as your camera. So we're going to go ahead and enable the P2P method. We're going to click the save button here at the right hand side. And then in order to ensure that our camera is actually getting out to the internet, we're going to click the refresh button. And we're going to want to see that offline status go from offline to online. And then we have a serial number listed here. And finally the QR code. Now this is the QR code that we're going to scan into our phone here in just a minute. Now that I have the P2P serial number or QR code pulled up on my Internet Explorer web browser, I can go to my app and add the camera. So first, I'm going to open the app. Here it can see it pulled up the live view screen. It might also pull up the home screen depending on your settings. But I want to get to the home screen, so I'm going to hit the home icon at the top left hand side of the app. It's going to take me to the home screen. Here I can see that I have no devices added and I want to add a device, so I'm going to click the devices button at the bottom or I can click the plus button on the favorites. And then inside of Device Manager, if I haven't clicked the plus button in the favorites, I'm going to click the plus button in the top right hand side of Device Manager. It's going to give me a few different options here. I have SN slash scan, IP slash domain, and online search. The SN slash scan is going to access my phone's camera and allow me to scan the QR code. And you may also be asked for permissions when you click this button, and you want to allow the app to access your camera on your phone. Since I already have permission on my iPhone, I pulled up the QR code scanner and now I can quickly pull up to my Internet Explorer browser and scan the code. It's going to automatically scan my serial number into my device or I can press the manually enter serial number button and enter the serial number that is listed inside of my camera's web interface. I'm going to tap the next button. It's going to ask me what this device is, and this just so happens to be a wired IP camera. So now I'm going to name my device. It just so happens to be a 4K IP camera, so I'm going to type 4K and type out IP camera. And again, the username and password is found on a label on the box for my camera, so I'm just going to go ahead and type that in there. I'm going to hit return to get out of the password field and then I'm going to tap the floppy disk icon at the top right hand side to save my device. Now provided I've entered my information correctly, I can connect to my camera using the P2P or serial number over the internet. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you for watching.